Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and this is a island peninsula with cooktop that I built in 2015. And for receptacles, I put in two 4x4 four four boxes, one there and one over here, and I put two spec grade receptacles here and two here for a total of eight outlets. There has been a lot of changes to the 2023 NEC code for kitchen islands and peninsulas and so forth. For the 2017 NEC code, this island would have required one receptacle. For the 2020 NEC code, this island would have required two receptacles. The calculation in 2020 would have gone like this. The bottom portion was 14 square feet. The top portion of the countertop of the island was 10 and a half square feet for a total of 24 and a half square feet. And the calculation went for the first nine square feet, we need one receptacle. And for the next 18 square feet, we need one receptacle. So for less than 27 square feet, we would need two receptacles. So for the 2023 NEC, how many receptacles do you think are required for this island? Here is 2023 NEC article 210.52 C2. This symbol right here means text deletions and the shaded area means revisions. So you can see that this article is very much revised and changed for 2023. Island and peninsular countertops and work surfaces. Receptacle outlets, if installed to serve an island or peninsular countertop or work surface, shall be installed in accordance with 210.52 C3. So what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna stop, go see C3 and see what's going on there, and then we'll come back to C2. Here is C3, and notice we have the text deletion symbol once again, and notice we have the shaded areas once again, which means there are revisions. So, three, receptacle outlet location. Receptacle outlets shall be located in one or more of the following. One, on or above, but not more than 500 millimeters, 20 inches above a countertop or work surface. Two, in a countertop using receptacle outlet assemblies listed for use in countertops. Three, in a work surface using receptacle outlet assemblies listed for use in work surfaces or listed for use in countertops. Here's four examples of receptacle assemblies listed for use in countertops. They range in price from around $70 to a little over $200. Now that we've reviewed 210.52 C3, let's read this again. Receptacle outlets, if installed to serve an island or peninsular countertop or work surface, shall be installed in accordance with 210.52 C3. If a receptacle outlet is not provided to serve an island or peninsular countertop or work surface, provisions shall be provided at the island or peninsula for future addition of a receptacle outlet to serve the island or peninsular countertop or work surface. So let's go back to this kitchen island that I built in 2015. And the question remains, how many receptacles do you think are required by NEC 2023? And the things that people might want to use on this island would be mixers, blenders, toasters or toaster ovens, a Vitamix. They might want to charge their cell phone. They might want to use a coffee grinder and a coffee pot, and they might want to use a crock pot, just to name a few. And the answer is zero. Zero receptacles are required to be put on this kitchen island by NEC 2023. You can install a receptacle or receptacles as long as they're in accordance with 210.52 C3 that we went over but there aren't any required for the 2023 NEC. I am very interested to hear what you guys think about this. Personally, I think that this is gonna to lead to some contractors not putting receptacles in kitchen islands and peninsulas. And that, I think, will lead to the use of extension cords all over the place, which 
will eventually lead to someone tripping on the extension cord or pulling the extension cord and knocking a big pot of boiling something or other on them. But while they're pulling the extension cord, the extension cord catching fire, you know, uh, all kinds of problems, I think, by not giving these people some receptacles for their kitchen island. I mean, the way modern society is today, we need receptacles in our kitchen <laughs> where we're working. And this thing about leaving a provision for a receptacle for later, I think that's going to lead to homeowners or do-it-yourselfers working with granite or quartz, trying to cut through granite and quartz. And, you know, that's going to be a lot of problems. And just the electrical running themselves, if they try to run it themselves, that might lead to uh, safety issues, maybe improper grounding, whatever. <laughs> so that's my opinion. What's yours? Please share your opinions in the comments section. Thanks.